If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a new custom tactic to go ahead and check out. Uh, guys, this custom tactic is definitely one of my favorites after the patch. I think I reviewed some of the other formations, but they're too linear to the meta. There's like not enough attacking AI. It's really, really boring to play. You know, if people decide to play that way, obviously, so be it. But this 4 one 2 and 2 guys, is actually genuinely really, really good in game, right? So shout out to uh, Foot Trader D, EAFC Trader, as this Twitter account, uh, the homie G over here, posted an incredible 4 one 2 and 2 Like, really, really good. Um, I was just using it for the review on Trollsard. I'm not sure I'm going to do that many showdown reviews, unless they're, like, maximized versions of themselves, uh, because it's kind of weird to review those cards without them being like super big ones like i think the only super big ones that i reviewed in the past that like did decently was like or not decently that did well was joan felix and kanji for obvious reasons right because you can kind of see what uh their base mechanics are and how they could potentially be in the future and all that kind of stuff right but this four and two and two guys we got to talk about it man because it's really good like it's really really good the the amount of attacking options that you have the amount of actual attacking ai stuff that you got going on is absolutely incredible and my favorite thing about it is that it's not direct passing okay very key thing to mention not being direct passing fills my heart with joy i wish they literally grabbed direct passing from their game and tossed it in the garbage what a garbage tactic to have in this game this one though oh my goodness gracious man i, I like when people can actually come up with good tactics that are like build up plays that are like actual authentic attacking ai it's amazing right but here's how it lines up okay both of your strikers drift wide get in behind okay your cam is on comeback and defense get into box for cross aggressive interceptions i'm gonna tell you guys this right now all of these instructions incredibly noticeable in game when you put the proper player in that area Biggest example of a good player in that area is flashback Bruno Fernandes. He is amazing to use there, right? Drift wide, stay on edge of box for crosses for both of your center mids. It's amazing because you can technically put them on stay back while attacking, but the stay on edge of box for cross guys, it just makes so much sense for how they generally perform because they still give you that extra attacking option. And it's amazing. I'm telling you guys, it's so, so good. CDM cover center, deep line playmaker. Uh, honestly, I would still prefer to use like a medium high worker to player there. True a many. Honestly, guys, you want to go with a cheap option? I'm not even kidding when I say this, bro. This guy is back, dude. This guy, I was literally just using him on Giyu's account for the review. And I was going like, I think I went six or seven and oh on his account in like regular foot champs. And this guy was still cooking, dude. I was like, oh my goodness, he's back. Like he's actually like really, really good. So that's like a cheap option you can work with in that area. You just obviously have to be a little bit mindful of his dribbling a tight, excuse me, a tiny bit because they gave him press proven plus, which is so incredibly helpful on him, right? But cheap option, right? You can obviously go with um, uh, the cards that are really good at pushing forward coming back like he was using i think bumpa store in his team right like the fantasy one and obviously she'd be great there it, it would be very ideal to have cards that essentially can attack and defend regardless because they're only on cover center deep line playmaker right so they can still sometimes attack for you in certain situations but i just like that balance of having that medium high worker to player especially because you have both of your fullbacks on that overlap instruction right your goalkeeper is on sweeper keeper comes for crosses the tactic itself is actually lined up like this right so it massages my brain so much when i see this honestly it really does when i don't see direct passing it's my favorite thing in the entire world but defensive style on balance 35 for width 60 for depth fast build up play possession 58 for width seven for players in the box two for corners three for free kicks important thing to mention is the types of players that he is going to have in your team, right? So listen, you have 
Your defense, center backs, use your uh, guys, man. If you run a four back, you know how to roll already. Well, it's true, right? You just got to go with full meta as much as possible, right? Your fullbacks whipped pass plus is going to be the key thing to work with. Absolutely essential. These are your guys that will creep up and help you when you can't get past the 11 back auto defending. Give it out wide and get it into the box. Obviously, defending and stamina are must too. Bonus points for defensive play styles must have minimum medium high work rates, right? Um, your midfield, your cam, the most important part. This guy will defend in the right mid position. That's how I want you to imagine him. He won't be there every single time on counters, for example. But, but if you manually pull him out on the odd occasion, he isn't. Uh, uh, he isn't. Then you shouldn't have to worry defensively. Okay, key thing to mention, right? The card needs to have minimum sixty defending. Bruno Fernandez is probably the best example of this because you can literally give him. A shadow chemistry style and he can still shoot the ball well if you guys watch the review for the card the only thing that i mentioned with him being low on the card is the manual running that's it i i literally told you guys that he's amazing at everything else passing shooting like his shootings are his shooting is very direct right um his dribbling is even very solid like it's, a, it's just a very solid card right your center mids Long story short, you want to get really good box-to-box -box players. I, for the review on Trossard, you're going to see in these highlights, right? I was using uh, Clark's Showdown Plus version, so not even the Evo version. You could do the Evo version, it would make him even better. And I was using still the older version of the Showdown Plus of McAllister, right? So just generally speaking, try to get players that are just really good box-to-box -box players, like the high, high work rates that can push forward, come back and defense, but still offer you like that defensive presence in the midfield, right? But you can see that he's using David Beckham and uh, Xavi, which are still very good options, while he's using the Bumpa Store in the CDM position. Look, three box-to-box -box here, guys, nothing major. You probably have your guys who do your job for you already, as long as they have decent all-round stats, nice pace passing, especially then you'll be sound. Bonus points for a passing and defensive traits. So you can see that he's using three box-to-box -box players, but I'm telling you that you don't have to. Like, you can still use that proper CDM, like Chuameni, uh, this Palinga card. Anybody that's going to be, like, that sound defensive player for you. Like, they'll still push up, but that medium high just makes them more defensive. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then for the attackers... Um... Shooting play styles, pace, he, well, you can, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory with the attackers, right? Like, you kind of, you can kind of go down the direction of still using Timo Werner. You'll see him in these highlights. He's still an absolute monster, right? Um... I was using, like, you could pretty much use a lot of different attackers as long as they have, like, the proper play styles. But the, the cam, as he mentioned, guys, is 100% going to be the most important position for you to be able to fully utilize these tactics, okay? It's genuinely really good. It's one of my favorite tactics I've used after the patch. My top three right now is Nawizi's 4 triple 2 Um... George is fortunate too because it's more to the meta of the game just in case someone plays a specific way, right? You have to play like really ratty, right? But then this 4-1-2-1-2 two, two is the formation that I will literally start with. Don't care about losses if I really have to, even though it's I, it, like you you can defend in this. Like it, it's a proper formation to use in general, but it's the formation that I'll probably use for a lot of the reviews because it, it's incredible. Like the, the attacking AI, the authentic movement that you get out of this team is incredible. And it makes me really just yell at EA and just tell them, like, just just do a patch and get rid of direct passing. The only people that will complain in, uh, for that tactic in your game is going to be the rats. Take it out of your game, bro. But this tactic, uh, this guy deserves big credits because it honestly performs really well in game. Be sure to try it out, guys. Enjoy the highlights. I will catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. I have to score the garbage in this game, unfortunately. There it is. I'll take that. It's a deserved, it's a deserved goal, I think. There we go, good stuff. There it is, good stuff, guys. There 
All right, that's Trollstar, good stuff. There it is. <clears throat> Let's go, Troll Sarge. Thank you. Well done, Trossard. Nice. Let's go, Trossard. Oh, there's no way, man. Ooh. Try that. Oh. We'll take that. We'll take that. A little toxic rat. Well done, boys. Well done. Well done. Oh, if I didn't score that, so the defensive AI just saving people like that, that would have been, that would have been mad annoying. Warner is so good. Warner is so good, man. Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, you need players that are just absolute top tier nowadays. It's insane. Not faster than Davies there, that's for sure. Oh. There it is. There it is, there it is. Nicely done. Let's go, boys. 